Hi guys, I gave you no warning that I was going live and I've got to be honest, that is just me because when the passion takes me, I'm going to go live. That's just the way this chick rolls. Anyway, I've just done a video in another Facebook group and I wanted to share the message here because it is incredibly powerful and it is part of what I think drives a lot of the overwhelm in a lot of the business owners that I speak to. So here it is. Um, and I've put it up as the topic and it is to thine own self be true. Now my mum has told me this time and time and again and I'm sorry mum. I'm sorry for not listening. I've always listened to it but you know what it's one of those things where you kind of hear it and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over time, different layers of it appear, right? So I am on a little bit of a rebranding exercise at the moment and you might see it um, coming through or you will see it coming through. And what I'm also doing is I'm moving um, to talking more about connection I'm talking about connecting with yourself, with your passions, with what motivates you. I'm talking about connecting with your business um, because who we are is such a massive part of our business. We bring so much of ourselves into our business. Um, and I'm talking about connecting with your ideal client. So they're the three layers of connection that I'm now talking about. Um, now, I will still teach Facebook because that is about connecting to your audience, but you're not going to hear me talking about it specifically. You're going to hear me about connecting with your audience online. Now, this is nothing new for me. Three years ago, um, four years ago, I actually started talking about the psychology that sits behind our businesses and the psychology of aligning yourself with those things. Now, I was actually told by a business coach that had a consultation with, Cara, don't do that. You're just going to confuse your audience. They're not going to know what the psychology of um, or the psychology beneath your business means um, and they're not interested. Guess what times have changed? Um, we have become more aware of the psychology that happens in social media and you know what? We need to. Um, and there is a lot of psychology that sits behind a business and you know what? We need to know about that too. So it's about you, it's about your business, it's about motivating your staff, it's about motivating your audience, it's about engaging your audience, it's about engaging your staff. All of this comes back to understanding people and this is what I'm passionate about and this is what I want to teach, this is what I want um, to drive people to understand this is not just for small business, this is for big business. And in fact, I learnt this when I was a manager in the Australian government and I applied it then and it worked. I went from a staff of 10 people who were deem unmotivated, um, overworked, had a backlog of work and within three months, they had a two-year backlog of work this you know no wonder they were unmotivated and within three months we went from that two-year backlog of work to actually being up to date and having my staff asking me for more work now seriously three months who does that me um so this is all about the psychology of connection the psychology of motivation and the psychology of engagement and this is what i'm going to be speaking of what I wanted you guys to talk to um, realize is that I'm sorry, I've not been true to myself, I've not been true to my message, and I needed to change that, and I needed to let you guys know that it is okay to be true to your message. Guess what? You will benefit from being true to your message, true to your passion, true to your motivators. And I hope you can see it from the way that I'm speaking that this is a passion of mine. So coming back to what I'm passionate about and speaking about that, it's going to make my message clearer. So what I want you guys to know is that when you know and you speak to what motivates you, your message is going to be clearer. 
And sure, not everyone is going to get it. Guess what? You don't have to be everything to everyone. Your audience will love you regardless because they've always liked you. You may lose some people. That is fine. But it's better to be true to yourself and true to your motivators because you will gather more people that way. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the live. You are going to see more of me talking about the psychology of motivation engagement, um, whether it's online, business, clients, stuff. This is what I'm going to talk about. So I hope you enjoy it. All right. Bye, guys.